I'm Kevin from Smoking Gauchos, and today we're here for Hunter's Element Hilter Grill, and I'm going to show you how to do a whole goat asado, a slow cooked masterpiece that's all about patience, fire, and big flavors. So let's jump right in. Start off after harvesting and gutting the goat, let it cool overnight, ideally hanging this on a tree or somewhere nice and cool. Once it's ready, and before you're going to set it up for cooking, make sure you hang it using a gambrel and skin it properly to get it nice and clean to start. Next, we're going to get our fire going and what you want is a good base of glowing coals and you can use mixed hardwood just to get the fire going. Remember, this is a long slow cook so the heat needs to stay steady and even throughout the six to eight hours that you'll be cooking this goat for. Next, we want to butterfly the goat. Lay the goat flat on the table, use a cleaver to split the rib cage and pelvis so that it opens up like a book, giving us that perfect butterfly shape. Next, we're going to coat the goat with a bit of oil and some salt and any of your favorite seasonings. We've just kept it simple and we're using some Olsen smoked salt to go with this beautiful goat. Next, secure your goat to the asado cross. Once the goat's been butterflied, grab some stainless wire and tie the feet and legs to the cross brace and make sure it's tied securely. We also recommend tying down the rib cage so that the goat doesn't fall forward as it's cooking. Make sure the rib cage faces outwards towards the fire. What I also like to do is make a herb brush by tying fresh garden herbs such as rosemary, oregano, a bit of parsley, whatever you got laying around. Wrap it up with a bit of string to a long stick and you're going to use that to mop up the base from the pot and baste the goat with it. Now we want to make a baste and I try to keep it pretty simple, made with a bit of butter, sample cider vinegar, peppercorns, bay leaves, onions, lemon, some fresh herbs, pretty much anything you want to chuck in that's aromatic. And then right at the end, I love adding in a can of beer, which will help the base caramelize and give that goat a beautiful golden brown color. Place it over the fire in a cast iron pot and bring it to the boil. And once it's boiled, then just let it simmer to use throughout the cook. Now we want to get cooking place the goat over the fire you want to be able to hold your hand right next to the meat for about five to seven seconds that's how you know it's the sweet spot for a slow steady cook we're also going to hang a few extra things over the fire in this case i had a few cobs of corn and dutch carrots and while the goat cooks fire roast some capsicum which we're going to use to make a smoky red chimichurri that'll bring everything together when the underside of the goat is golden brown that's the time to flip it we want to make sure it's not going to burn or get too hot we want to flip it over at that point basting it regularly keeping it moist and full of flavor and we're looking for the internal temperature to get to around 62 to 65 degrees celsius and then it's ready to come off the fire all right now let's make our red fire roasted chimichurri first finely chop a handful of fresh parsley then do the same with some oregano for that earthy kick next finely chop some onion and a couple of garlic cloves to have a really nice depth of flavor then we grab our fire roasted capsicum we prepared earlier you can peel off the charred skin if you want, so that it's not too bitter, and dice it up to bring that really nice smoky sweetness. Squeeze in the juice of a whole lemon to give you that citrus flavor. Then we're gonna add a generous amount of olive oil to get a nice loose consistency. Feel free to add as much or as little as you like personally. Following that, chuck in a good pinch of salt and mix everything together until it's well combined. Once your goat is ready to roll, internal temperature is sitting at around that 62 to 65 degrees Celsius. Time to take it off, let it rest for a little while. While you're doing that, use some pliers to cut the wire off the goat and remove it from the asado across. Then what I like to do is get a cleaver, carve it up. Some of it I like to pull, some of it I like to leave as whole cuts and put it all on one big platter for everybody to share now don't forget the veggies what we did was we turned those dutch carrots into some honey charred beauties with some walnut and feta really easy to do in a cast iron pan then we slice the rest of the roasted capsicum into some really nice smoky strips and place that all on the table with some fresh salads and sides and we had a feast fit for a big group of people and that's it whole goat asado harvested from the wild fire roasted veg and some smoky red chimney this is all about respecting the fire the meat and the moment